Here at Stellar Lab, our job is to help define the future, help define what tomorrow is. Basically, we're an information lab. So we're interested in information, how to process information, how to get better information to people uh, more rapidly. So collaboration is the heart blood of science and technology in the 21st century. The problems are too complex, too big for any individual organisation to go it alone. So one of the things that we're doing here very strongly is reaching out across the nation. So while we're located in Melbourne, uh, we're a national laboratory. So we're reaching out to Queensland universities, Victorian universities, South Australian universities, Western Australian universities. So the inaugural team that we had here at Stellar Lab were the mighty team from Monash University. Uh, and we couldn't have asked for a better team. They were fantastic. Uh, uh, Arnie, Charling and, and Tony, uh, diverse backgrounds, all coming together to solve uh, a, a problem that's actually very relevant for tomorrow. The broad problem that we were addressing here at Lockheed Martin was um, to design a uh, UAV bushfire uh, fi firefighting system. And we did that using autonomous unmanned helicopters. Our aim here was to teach a computer to read a map such that it would be able to identify buildings, roads, water sources, trees, and that sort of thing, so that it can accurately plan and calculate a flight path. One of the things that's very attractive actually about the MITEI program is the diversity, yeah, the, the, the diversity within the team. You know, we have very strong values in Lockheed about diversity, about um, the way we should do business, and, and MITEI team reflects that. So, so it's one of the things that uh, made us quite proud that they're actually our inaugural team here at the lab. To, uh, to solve an issue for a company as large as Lockheed Martin was phenomenal. Um, it was an amazing experience. One of the uh, values, I think, of, of the MITEI program, and a differentiating value, is the opportunity for the students to come out, work with industry, and solve a real-world problem. Um, they're not easy problems, uh, by any stretch of the imagination, and so you know, that's a, it gives them a, a real sense of what to expect once they graduate. You know, this is what life is like uh, if you choose this career path is, is incredibly important. You know, goals, you know, knowing why you're doing something and getting that sense of, of energy about you know, your career choice is incredibly important. And I think that, that this program gives them that. One of the things that, that Lockheed Martin Australia is very proud of, of uh, being a major sponsor for is the National Youth Science Forum. The National Youth Science Forum is aimed at uh, grade 12 students and bringing them forward, giving them experience in, in uh, STEM related areas. I'm interested in chemistry and science and I've come to the National Youth Science Forum to try and facilitate that and see where it can take me. Working to get the next generation uh, understanding and, and appreciating um, the excitement of a career in science and technology, uh, the fact that uh, you can do it here in Australia and have a global influence, you know, that, that's important. Uh, opportunities like this at the Stella Lab, they, uh, they show me opportunities in engineering that I may not have considered before. I hope we're going to be a positive influence to uh, address perhaps some of the underrepresentation of women in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Uh, NYSF does a brilliant job in getting, um, I think I was trying to remember the number, 61% I think this year in terms of uh, women on the course. Coming to a place like Lockheed Martin has allowed me to see one place I might go and it's definitely opened up a potential to go somewhere like here. I think it's important that um, the establishment of the lab here is uh, advanced R&D uh, by Australians but for the globe. You know, that we're doing this for the planet. That's, that's really important to me.